we are going to look at a special case of the separating hyperplane theorem. The version that we'll prove is the following. Let v, u1, u2 up to uk be elements of rn, where n and k are positive integers. If v is not in the convex hull of u1 up to uk, then there exists a, an element of rn, and a real number beta such that a transpose v is less than beta, and a transpose ui is at least beta for all i from 1 up to k. Let's take a look at the picture to see what this is saying. Suppose these green dots are my UIs. Now the convex of these points is the following set. And so we have V not in the convex set, so V is somewhere outside. If one looks at this, what this is saying is, we can find an inequality A transpose X greater than equal to beta where ui satisfies the inequality, but not v. So in this case, the inequality might look like this. So all the ui's satisfy this inequality, and v doesn't. And this will be the hyperplane that sits between the set and the point v. So this hyperplane separates the u from the v, the u's are on one side, and v is on the other side. So let's see how we can prove this. Recall that v is in the convex of u1 up to uk if and only if v can be written as a convex combination of u1 up to uk. And so if we look at this system here, there's going to be no solution because the left hand side here is precisely a convex combination of u1 up to uk. We have these scalars, they are non negative and they sum up to 1. So this system does not have a solution. From this point on, we can apply the Farkas lemma, but the various forms of the Farkas lemma could be difficult to remember, so we'll use linear programming duality instead. Let's look at the following linear programming problem. So we're minimizing 0 times lambda 1 plus all the way to 0 times lambda k, subject to these constraints. Then we know that this problem is infeasible. Now the dual problem of this is the following. The dual variable that we are going to associate with this constraint is going to be y0, and the rest will be y1 up to yn. So the objective function is going to be maximize y0 plus the matrix consisting of one row with entries y1 up to yn times v subject to y0 plus the one row matrix y1 up to yn times ui less than or equal to 0 for i from 1 up to k. This problem has a feasible solution because you can set all the y's to 0 and all the constraints will be satisfied. But the primal problem is infeasible. So by the duality theorem for linear programming, the dual problem must be unbounded. And therefore, there exists y0 star, y1 star, up to yn star, satisfying all the constraints, and having a positive objective function value. But now we get our result by setting A to be the one column matrix with entries minus one y1 star up to minus yn star, and beta to be y0 star.